I am Anthony from HashlessNet, and today we will be transforming Hotshot from the Transformers Generation Selects toy line. Hotshot is a repaint of War for Cybertron Siege Hound. However, the color palette is best remembered for Hotshot from the Unicorn Trilogy, and is currently being depicted by Hotshot as a young recruit in the Rescue Bots Academy series. To get your own Hotshot, check out Hasbro Pulse at HasbroPulse.com, and stick around to watch us transform this bad boy. So welcome back. So right here we have Hotshot. As you can see, Deluxe Class Hotshot Generation Selects. Uh, of course, I've already opened it because, you know, I also cleaned out the plastic container. and So basically, he's just free roaming in here, as you can see. And uh, here's some of the instructions. By the way, if anybody ever says, hey, I need a small box, you got a small box if you're not keeping these. Because uh, I find them useful for shipping. Uh, because they're, they're about the size of the standard USPS package size. So, I mean, it's pretty awesome. Okay, so here is Hotshot. Uh, he stands up. He, uh, he I think he looks cool. I, I don't know what your preferences are. Um, I kind of always wanted him from the Unicron trilogy, but uh, it just wasn't the time. I, I just didn't really care for, you know, the... Because they kept changing them every series, it was weird. Uh, and then, uh, since I'm kind of, you know, I'm high above the demographic of watching uh, Rescue Bots Academy, but I'm like, well, you know what? Maybe I do want a hot shot. So it just was opportune that uh, Hasbro decided to finally release an updated version. So he has weapons like they detach and connect. And I feel I feel like this is supposed to be a an ammo drum barrel of some type or whatever, but. You know, whatever. And then here's his gun. All this stuff connects together in some way. Uh, except maybe both guns don't connect together? I don't know. Anyway. Oh, yeah, it does. It goes like this. Like this, so... Okay. So, if you have found the transformation is exactly the same thing. We're open up the instructions. I have transformed him a few times, but uh, his flipping over his back to get his, uh, you know, bit here is, is a little confusing. But uh, let's see what we can do. So this says his arms come out, so just flay him a little bit, and then it says his back comes up. Then it says his back holds out more, which it does. It's, it's a piece hidden under here when you, so you know, pull this out more, and then it says. Words. Okay, it says, what, what is it saying? It's saying, flip it forward. It seems, oh, there we go. You're gonna flip it like this. Okay, so he, so he looks kind of like this right now. And then his arms are supposed to go in. And they go in at a weird angle because they kind of just stick out. And uh, that's the way it wants it. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh. There's little, so you know you're doing it right, the little latches here match into the little bit here. So, so far so good. It, again, if you have hands, same exact transformation, it's just, uh, it's weird to me. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. So his arms rotate around. Oops, the bottom parts, not the top parts. I feel like I'm putting them in the wrong way, but it's, it's what it's saying. Uh, bloop. Okay. So his arms are like this now. And... Okay, now it says going to the feet. Uh, it's saying... Pull his legs out, but it kind of did a little bit... This stuff comes out here. And then it's supposed to... Pull them all out. Kind of like this. So you can kind of see where we're coming. This is the sides, obviously, right? And, uh... says... Pull everything completely out, which we have done. Now, there's supposed to be a point where we flip. We just flip his legs over. 
I'm gonna try to do it with some grace. Uh, maybe not. Oh, I'm trying to keep things straight. Because, I mean, he compacts. It's like, it's really compact here. Now, there is these little clips here that go into here and here. So, hopefully you don't break it. I'd, you just have to rotate the right bits oh, and make sure this thing stays out of the way here. And as you see, I'm trying to get something out of it. Oh. Stamp those pieces together. Find the little bits on the front end. They just slide in. Slide in. So far so good. You can lock this piece down just by pushing it into Because there's a couple of tabs here. And these tabs match these slots. being a jerk. Trust me, it's not the first time I've had this problem. Okay, and then these feet come down to form the inside of the door. And then the arms are supposed to kind of just even out flat, kind of just be out of the way. Uh, there is there is a little hole in the arm I don't know how else to see it because you can be looking. But he's supposed to go into the hole in the bottom of his chassis to lock him into place. And you'll see it. When, I mean, this is, camera is a horrible way of seeing it. But uh, you can make out this little tab here, the hole in his arm. That's the writing isn't the best here. They do lock into place. And then, of course, you can throw the guns on. Pretty much anywhere you want. But uh, that is both Hound and Hot Shot. Uh, it is a fairly easy transformation. It's just getting it over the top. And then, of course, here's a picture about the weapons. You can just do them in a couple different ways. And it's uh, more or less it. I do enjoy his uh, his color scheme. I, I I get the hound as a military guy, you know, got you the drab green, but uh, this looks good to me. So I, I, again, worth picking up. Just the little splashes of yellow, the red, the blue. But uh, that was Hot Shot. So uh, hopefully you go visit HasbroPulse.com. Go ahead and pick up your Hot Shot while supplies last. Uh, if you got a hound and you don't feel like having another, basically a Jeep, hey, fine, whatever. But if you didn't get a hound before, because I understand it came out around the Prime, or not the Prime Trilogy, the Unicorn Trilogy, you know, well, you know do what you got to do, man. Uh, but thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for checking out our content. Before you leave, please remember to click like and then subscribe. If you want to receive notifications, do not forget to enable them by clicking on the bell. Then afterwards, check out our social media at Hasledgenet and our website at hasledge.net.